Okay, folks, so as usual, let's start off by getting the heart rate up a little. So we go with jumping jacks to start off. 20 reps, spring through the balls of the feet and bring hands over head. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then we're kicking the legs straight out in front. Nice strong kick. Getting a little higher with each rep, ladies. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then we go heels up at the back. Four, three, two, and one, and then we drive the knees up on line with the hips. Four, three, two, and one. Then we get our rotation through groin and hip. Every second leg. And then from opposite, so open up first, and then bring the knee in towards inside the body. For five, four, three, two, one. Then we go to our quad stretch. Knees together, bring the foot up to the back. Three. Two and one. Good stuff, ladies. And then we swap sides. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely job. Then we go down to the floor, girls. One knee out front, one knee in contact with the floor, hands behind the head, and push straight ahead, pushing the knee out over the shoelace. Getting a good stretch through the hip. Four, three, two, and one. Swapping over, girls. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go to our pigeon stretch. Foot up and line with the knee. If we can, walk the hands out in front. And as we walk the hands out in front, lower the chest towards the floor. We hold that for about 20 seconds, ladies. Five, four, three, two, and one, good stuff, spot and sight. That's five girls. Two and one, hope it work. Okay, then we're coming up to hands and knees. So right hand over right here, elbow to wrist, and reach elbow up towards the ceiling. Full rotation. We get eight on either side there, ladies. Once we've got eight on the legs, go for a cat down stretch. So that is hands over shoulders, knees stacked under the hips, drop the chest towards the ground, and as we push the spine 
towards seeing we inhale through the nose so right up as high as we can and then we hold for five four three two and one and release through the mouth okay so that is one let's repeat that five times right and so with the five second hold Super ladies, and when we have our five done, then we do our shoulder taps from our bare fall position. So again, the exact same position, hands on the shoulders, knees stacked on your hips. Get the knees slightly off the floor. Now we're reaching across the inside of the opposite shoulder, keep the core squeezed as tight as we can, with little movement through the trunk. We have that complete thing, girls. We're going to our single leg hip thrust. Back flat to the floor, squeeze the core. Take one foot away, ladies, and thrust the hips right up to the ceiling, getting a good, strong squeeze through the glute. Eight reps on either side, girls. For ladies, well done. And we have those done then, we're up onto the feet. Finish off the joint movements. So we have our squats first, girls. Two hands out in front, sitting straight down. Imagine we have chair behind us. Keep chest high. Push through on the hips, get a good squeeze on the glutes at the top. 10 reps. Stuff. Then after that, we have a reverse lunges, girls. We just go for five on either side, hands at chest, take the step back, drop knee to floor. And we've that done, ladies. Five on our world's greatest stretch. Elbow to the same ankle. Swing right back. Keep the back leg fully locked out. That's it. Getting good rotation through the spine. Side girls, and then we're finishing off for each work. Reaching to the ceiling, down to the toes, walking the hands out in front, getting a good stretch in the back. And there as well, we go for five reps. Okay.
Super girls, well done. I think we're all finished there. Okay, so to start off this morning's class, girls, we are starting with 100 lunges. All right, 100 lunges, forward, reverse, or lateral. Combination of any of the three girls, whatever way you want to get them done to build up to the 100 reps. So we're forward. We can do this weighted or non weighted, by the way, girls. Weighted, we're going to hold that chest. If we're just going um, body weight, we can place the hands on the hips. Take the step out in front for your forward, step back for your reverse or your lateral to the side. Okay, so we're pushing that foot as we come up out of the lunge. We're springing forward, same as our lateral lunge, we're springing right back to our center point. And our forward lunge, then we're springing back the way on the way up. Okay, so whatever way you want to build up the 100 reps, girls. It's up to yourselves, all right? You're both starting with the weight. You don't have to finish with it, but push the bodies now as hard as we can to start off, all right? So 100. So if you want to break it down, ladies, yourselves in like tens, we can. Just so it's not too repetitive. That's it, and a good, strong spring back to center point every time. Mighty girls, well done. Keep the focus straight ahead, keep the back straight, chest high, take your step, and then back to center point. Super ladies, well done. It's really good, ladies. Keep mixing up the different variations, all three for yourselves. We're springing back nice and strong every time. Great turn, well done. Nice and steady throughout. Good stuff, Rita. Keep getting the depth. Good stuff. Say, Sharon, you're slightly overreaching on your reverse lunge. 
just slightly. Yeah, that's better. Perfect, I'm done. That's great, well done. Finish them out nice and strong and we'll bank it up. Nice one, girls. Well done. Both of us finished up. All right. So our next two girls, we have our Bulgarian split squat followed by our step ups. Okay. So once we get this done and out of the way, that'll be the hardest part finished with the legs. So for our step ups, girls, something nice and solid. We have some sort of a table or solid timber chair. And same then for your split squat if you want. So I'll just quickly bring you through girls, all right? So your step ups, if we have weights girls, we go one with two, we go with hands down by the sides, knee up over ankle, and we're going to alternate every second one, okay? Stepping right up, push through the hips, get the squeeze on the glutes at the top, we're always leaving one foot on your uh, surface, all right? Your second exercise then, we have our Bulgarian split squats. So I find with this ladies, and um, just for comfort through the foot, it would probably be easier if you have your sofa for it, rather than digging into a timber chair or plastic chair or table, whatever. So if it's one weight, it's at the chest. If it's two, we're down by the side, same as our step up. We have our knee aligned to our hip, and we're dropping straight down and back up. So don't worry about getting the knee to touch the floor here, girls. That will uh, depend on the height the foot is placed at, okay? You have no choice in that. So it's whatever you have, you're placing your foot up on, and then you're locking out the leg on the top, get your reps done, and then we swap sides. So we're going for 10 reps, girls, on either side for both exercises, and we're going for the four rounds, all right? So four rounds of the two moves, 10 reps on either leg for both, See how we go, okay? So shoulders back for your step ups and we're getting the squeeze on the glutes at the top. Good stuff. That's good. Make sure we plant both feet at the top and we're pushing the hips forward. Well done, ladies. Good work. Great girls, well done. And then we have our split squats for 10 on either side. If we really struggle with our Bulgarians, we can just do them from the floor, but give them a go, even if we do body weight. That's good, and drop that knee straight down. Imagine we have stripes on the side of our pants. We want them stripes hitting straight for the floor. Great churn, well done. Strong step, putting good force through that foot that's on the surface. 
then pushing hips forward at the top. So Frida, just make sure we push the hips forward at the top. We're doing perfect, good stuff. Pretty good, ladies. Well done. Getting into our third set. Great girls, keep dropping that knee straight down below the hip. Taking your time on the way down and strong on the way up. Pretty good ladies, last round. Almost there, we'll have the toughest part of it done.
Supergirl's last few reps. Right, then we're there. So done. Super, good work. Okay, girls, up next, we have a single arm shoulder press, followed by a renegade row, followed by a hollow hold, okay? Um, Sharon, have you got a band? No, okay, that's fine. We'll work without it. So, um, your single arm shoulder press girls, we're going to be going for 10 reps on either side and the second and third exercises in are going to be uh, time-based for 40 seconds. So your single arm shoulder press ladies, and we're looking at 10 reps either side, go nice and heavy here. So hand out towards the side, for stability, and we're pressing right up over the shoulder, okay? No sway in the torso for sway. The weight is too heavy, go a little lighter. It's nice and strong in our 10 reps. As we swap sides, we swap the knee. And again, we're pressing straight up over the shoulder curves, all right? That is move number one. Move number two, ladies, we have a renegade row. So from our press up position, we can either hold the two dumbbells at the same time, or we can place one hand flat on the floor, get all our reps done on one side for 20 seconds, and then the opposite side, whichever you prefer. I know some find it tough on the wrists. And then our third exercise, girls, we have a hollow hold. Okay, so for yourself, Sharon, I'm going to get you to your hollow hold as normal. So feet are just off the floor, and we'll bring the shoulder blades off the ground, okay? Nice and strong. Breathe out, it'll make it a little tougher for you. So with your band, you're going to grab a strand with either hand. You're going to pull out in front. So we're just going to go a little wider than what we usually do today for our lying leg raise, all right? So hands are going to be outside the shoulders. Feet are just up off the floor. And shoulder blades just up off the floor, okay? And we're going to hold that three or 40 seconds. You feel that pretty strong, okay? So that is your three moves, ladies. And we're going for three rounds. First exercise, reps based. Second and third, timed, all right? So kneeling shoulder press to start off, girls. 10 on either side, away we go. That's great, ladies, well done. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Super, keeping the body nice and steady. Good, and if we struggle with 10 reps, girls, we can drop to eight. I want you doing this nice heavy weight, okay? Mighty girls, well done. After that then is your renegade rope. Okay, and the clock is on. 40 seconds, girls. So we're going to go 20 for yourself, Sharon, on either side. I'll give you a shout when the 20 is up. Okay, Sharon, that's halfway. And you're there in five, 
four, three, two, and one. Well done, Sharon. Good stuff. Okay, and your hollow hold, Sharon, away you go. Good stuff. Let's go, Brita. Linton out the arms. Get the feet just up off the floor. So you're going to find it harder to get the shoulder blades off the ground. That's okay. And you're going to feel it kind of underneath the rib cage more so. Top part of the abdominal muscles. That's great, ladies. Well done. We're 25 seconds in. There in five, four, three, two, and one. Great, ladies, well done. That's your hollow hole complete. So then we're back into our shoulder press, half kneeling. No panic, ladies, whenever you're ready. 10 again on either side. Thank you, girls. Well done. Give you about 10, 10 to 15 seconds off, and then we start our renegade. Four, three, two, and one. Away we go for 40 seconds. Good ladies, halfway. Perfect, last 10. Three, two, and one. Well done. Rita, I think you're going to... Uh, a step ahead of me or something. So we're going for time uh, reps on the first one and then time for the second and third exercise. So if you want to do your renegade now instead, okay? Grant, we go in three, two, and one for 40 seconds. Super ladies, well done. You have 15 seconds to complete. That's good. Holding strong now for the last 10 seconds. Neither of you drop. Well done. For four, three, two, and one. Super. Well done. Good work. So take your time, ladies. We crack into this kneeling shoulder press when you're ready. No panic at all. Ten on either side. Last round. So first move, reps based, second and third time. Stop there, so we're done.
Perfect, ladies. Hold on. 10 to 15 seconds off. And then we go into our renegade row. Four, three, two, and one. 40 seconds again, ladies. Nice and steady. No rush going through this. That's it. Imagine we have the glass of water on the back. We don't want to spill. Nice and steady throughout squeezing glutes and core. That's exactly halfway. Three, two, and one. Really good, girls. Okay, line legger is in five. Four, or hollow hold, sorry. In four, three, two, and one. Strong 40 seconds, girls, and we're moving on, okay? Good, it's 20. Control the breathing now, we're almost there. 15 seconds. Good, into our last 10. Four, three, two, and time, well done. Really good, ladies, well done. Now our next three moves, we have a upright kneeling row. After that, we have a banded face pull, and then we have our core move of our heel touches, okay? So our kneeling upright row, girls, is with our kettlebell. Um, two knees kneeling. We push the hips forward, get a squeeze on the glutes and hamstrings. Hands are down in front, holding your kettlebell, pull right up to chin, and back down. Okay, we're going for 15 reps there. After that, we're going to do your banded face pull. So, Rita, if you adjust your band to kind of about door handle height. Take your step back, hands out to the front, pull straight towards the forehead while we keep the body upright. We don't want to sway the body forward or back as we pull. All the work is through the arms and shoulders, okay? Squeezing the core nice and strong. And our last move then is our heel touches from kind of like your glute bridge position. So walk the feet out in front, we're getting right down to the outside of the shoe, and we're back it over for 15 reps there on either side. Sharon, for your uh, face pull, you obviously don't have a band, so um let's see yeah you've kind of done the bent over roll there already and um, i think about it and get back to you okay I think about it while you're going through the first move so we were kneeling upright roll first girls for 15 reps so squeezing the glutes and hamstrings pull the handle right up to the chin Elbows out to the side. Good stuff. Super ladies, hold on. Mighty. Good stuff. So that's 15 reps complete. Then you are on to your banded face pull, ladies. So, Sharon, for that, I just get you to hold your kettlebell and go into the bent over row and pull the kettlebell right up to the chest and elbows out to the side. 
That's it. Well done. 15 reps there as well. That's my shoe well done. And then your third move, girls, is your heel touches for 15 reps on either side. Well done. And we're going for three rounds of these moves. Gliding from side to side, get the hand down nice and low to the outside of the shoe. Really good, ladies. Well done. Not a bother, T. Finished up. Take your recovery. Get a drop of water if you need, and we can get started into our second round. Back to our upright rolls. Handle up to chin, elbows out to side, and pushing forward on. The hips getting the squeeze through the glutes and the hamstrings. So ladies, well done. Doing really good. 15 reps right the way through. Nice one, girls. And then our heel touches in. To finish off our second round. So this is nice and snappy. Super, ladies. Two rounds complete, and we're going into your last when you're ready. Same reps, all right. So ladies strong now throughout, keep her technique on point. Final few reps. 15 is tough. Well done. Getting the handle right up to chin every time. Might be fair play to you. Well done. Great girls, and then your core move to finish off third and final round. Almost there now. We've two exercises left to finish out the morning's class. Mighty girls, well done. So to finish off, we have two exercises, ladies. We have our thrusters and our kettlebell swings, okay? So let's start off by demoing our kettlebell swings. 
We're going to get a bit to the knees, kicks back to the wall behind. Kettlebell starts off in between the knees, clinging forward, get a squeeze of the glutes at the top, and bring your kettlebell up to about shoulder and head height. We don't need to go any higher. After that, then we have our squat to press. So our thrusters, squatting down, hands up overhead, whether you have a plate and or dumbbells, girls. We're using both hands, all right? Pressing up strong. So we're starting with 50 reps. We're dropping down as far as 10, all right? So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. If we get to 10 and we have it completed within six minutes, we keep going until we have our six minutes complete, guards. okay? So whatever work we can get done in that six minutes, all right? And then we'll be finished up for the morning, okay? So we're starting off with our kettlebell swings, ladies. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. So six minutes of work to finish off. Hard as we can go. Dropping a rep per round. Let's try to get as close to the six rounds complete if we can. Just make sure we're pushing ourselves as hard as possible, all right? Happy with that. Excellent, ladies. Well done. Strong squat to press, get good depth and press the hands right up over the shoulders then, okay? Mighty ladies, well done. That's great, that's exactly one minute complete now, folks. Five minutes to go. Good, just make sure we're not overextending the hips in our swing, girls. That we're not arching the lower back, more so focusing on our squeeze on the glutes. Really good, girls. That is exactly two minutes down. Two minutes down, four to go. Let's try to keep up this pace now if we can. Super girls, well done. Flying through it on round three. 13 reps. It's great, Sharon. Well done. And if you're struggling to get the weight overhead, Sharon, just go for goblet squats. Kettlebell at the chest. You don't got to thrust up overhead if it's that heavy, all right? Do more damage than good. That's it. Super. Well done. It's great, ladies. Keep getting that depth.
That is four minutes, ladies. Two minutes to go. Empty the tank now. Get in whatever we can. Pretty good, folks. It's four minutes 30, 90 seconds to go. Good stuff, girls. One last blast, okay? 60 seconds. Finishing off now as strong as we can, all right? We're almost there. Good stuff. Last 50. That's really good, ladies. And our 30 seconds, and we're finished. 30 seconds. Good job. Big 10 now, and we're finished. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time well done ladies six minutes complete great job tough going to finish off all right we come to the feet and we get our stretch in so we go quad stretch first girls keep the knee side by side pull that heel right up to the back side four three Two and one and swapping sides. Five, four, three, two and one. Then we go to a deep squash, pushing the elbows out against the knees while keeping the back straight and chest high. From there, guys, in, we just get a little sway from side to side for seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. And from there, then we go to one knee out in front, hands behind the head, and push that knee out over shoelace, getting good stretch through the hip. Four, three, two, and one. And swap the sides, ladies. Two and one. Lovely ladies. Then we go to our pigeon stretch, foot across the body. Walk the hands out in front, feel a strong stretch now through the glutes, make it as difficult as you can on yourselves. We'll hold it for about 15 seconds on either side. Three, two, and one, and then we swap side skirts. Three, two, and one. Then we make our way up onto the feet. And we just finish off with a little bit of mobility through the shoulders and arms. So one arm forward, the other back. And then we go across the body, tap the back of the shoulders. And then ladies, we go right across the body with the two arms, 
getting in rotation to the spine. For five, four, three, two, and one. So for our girls, that is us finished up. Fair play to you, well done. Hope you have a nice day, all right? Cheers, thank you, Darren. That was a hard from Monday morning. Sorry, Rita? I said that was awful hard from Monday morning. Buzz. <laughs> class, get you started. Thank you. All right, Bye. have a nice week, girls. Thanks. Well done.